Hi there, this is going to be a quick tutorial on how to make um, dual color uh, single layer coasters in Bamboo Studio without using Fusion 360. Um, so first what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up some Starbucks logos, so let's look for that. And I like this website 1000 logos. If you click download PNG, it brings us to this page where it has a bunch of them, and we'll just find a big one. Then we're going to go over to this website called vectorizer.ai, and then we're just going to drag over uh, this file. And you see it's going to be uh, too big just because we picked the largest file size, so we'll just click OK and it'll uh, downscale it. It just takes a second to process. All right, and here we have the vectorized result. It looks really good. This website has always been really good. Um, so we're just gonna download it, uh, keep the file format as SVG, and then we wanna make sure it's place, shapes, and cutouts in shapes below. And we'll download it. Then we can go into Bamboo Studio and we'll just uh, click add. And we will uh, select this Starbucks logo that we just uh, made with the vectorizer AI. And it's gonna take a second to load it just cause it's a big file. And so first thing we're going to want to do is scale it to however large we want. So I'm going to click uniform scale and make it uh, 100 millimeters in size. And then we'll uncheck that and make it 0 0.4 millimeters thick. That'll just make it one layer thick, or in this case, two layers thick with a 0.2 millimeter layer height. So here we have the model. And now all we have to do is color it. So what we have to do is click on uh, in this go over from global to objects and then we can uh, look at each of the parts of this SVG and so we're just going to use the up and down arrow keys to go through and select which parts need to be uh, different colors so I'm just looking for the green part and then you can just use the number uh, keys on your keyboard to select the color so now all I need to do is find the little inside pieces that are going to be also green. There we go. So now everything we want is green. And then what I also want to do is I want to flip this upside down. Um, it doesn't really matter too much on this one just because it's kind of symmetrical. But if we lay on face, um, then this means that the top part of the actual print is going to be on the build plate so that uh, you can use the textured side of your build plate to, uh, to add that texture to the front side of your print. Um, then I'm gonna go over here and we're gonna just select 0.2 millimeter layer height and we can slice it. And here is the sliced model. It's only gonna take about 20 minutes to print. Um, and the way that this actually goes and prints is with the Bamboo Lab AMS. So it's only two layers high and there are two colors, but there are two colors on each layer. So it lays down the first color, um, in this case the white, it does the white, it goes through and then on the same exact layer it does the green. And then if we go up to the second layer, if we go up to the second layer we can see um, it does indeed do the green first and then it does the white on top of that. So let's go ahead and print this and see how it turns out. All right, so here we are on the actual printer now, and we're gonna go ahead and print out this model. It's starting out with the white color. It's just doing a purge line.
So now that the white layer has already printed, it's just going to go ahead and print the green on the exact same layer. Now here you can see we have the whole print and all of the purge material, if this will ever focus. There we go. So this is the purge block. It's pretty small. It's only two layers thick, so that explains why. This is all the purge material, just a few poops. This is the purge line, and then we have the final print. And there we go. It has that nice textured PEI surface finish on the other side. I don't know if you can see it on camera. There we go, just a little bit. But it's pretty nice. It's completely flush. Uh, you can see I had a little bit of red on my build plate right before I printed this, so it is a little bit contaminated. So you're going to want to make sure that you clean your build plate really well before you finish this project. Um, but anyway, that's how we do that. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video.